Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Stuart and actually in this tutorial, I want to highlight the most common skin retouching mistakes when it comes to doing skin retouching in Photoshop. And I hope these mistakes are going to be enlightened and you're going to be learning how you can easily go about them and how you can easily fix them in Photoshop and you get better results regarding skin retouching. So without further ado, let's get started. And if at all you haven't hit the like button on this video, make sure to hit the like button because it's going to help you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply smash the like button. So right now, the very first and most common mistake when it comes to frequency separation and skin retouching in general is choosing the wrong Gaussian blur radius. So I'm just going to come to my actions and I play my frequency separation action. So I'm just going to play it. So usually, the most misused step when it comes to frequency separation is choosing the wrong blur radius or the wrong Gaussian blur radius. Remember, for the Gaussian blur, we want to choose or to blur out the details of the image. But what you have to understand about the Gaussian blur, the lower the radius, the more the amount of blur it is going to be applying to the skin when you're retouching. And the higher your radius, the more the skin textures you're going to be having when you're trying to edit using the Mr. Brush tool or the lasso tool for retouching the image. So you have to choose a point that is right in the middle of having a blurry image and also having more textures. So you have to choose that sweet spot. So in order to choose that sweet spot, basically what you're going to be doing. So if you're interested in actions, the link is going to be in the description of this very video so that you can support the channel by purchasing my retouching essentials pack. So in order to choose the right spot or the right amount of Gaussian blur, this is the trick that you have to use. Simply come and zoom into the image and you hover around to look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin. So we're going to be using this as a reference point for blurring out the textures so that at the end of the process, we have started losing out on the texture. So the major trick is we have stopped at the point when we're just starting to lose out on these prominent details. Don't completely blur them out until you can't notice them anymore. Just simply stop at the point when you're just starting to lose them out. So hoping I'm clear, I'm just going to left click and drag as I'm releasing this radius slider up to the point when I'm just starting to lose out on these textures. So you can see at about 7, I can still notice where the textures were, but they are not visible within the skin. And I'll click OK. So that is what you have to do. So after ensuring that you have corrected that mistake, most people tend to do regarding the Gaussian blur radius, you're going to be looking at mistake number 2. Mistake number 2 basically is setting your tools wrongly when it comes to skin retouch. I'm just going to delete the black and white layer. So setting the tools wrongly. So for those people that use the lasso tool technique or method of frequency separation, we have the settings for the lasso tool. So this is the lasso tool right now. So we have these options and we have the feathering. So most people tend to make a mistake of choosing the wrong selection right here or choosing the wrong feathering. So usually you, you should make it to be around the new selection mode. So what this helps you is when you're trying to make selections onto the skin of a model, for example, if at all we made the selection here, so if at all we want to make a new selection after working on the previous selection, instead of coming and right clicking or pressing Ctrl D to deselect the previous selection or right clicking on the selection and deselecting, we can simply with the new selection mode activated, with the previous selection now made, by simply clicking out from the selection, it is going to automatically deselect that previous selection. Then if at all you want to <coughs> come and work on a new selection, basically what you have to do, just come and start drawing and draw a shape on the new selection. It is going to automatically deselect the previous selection. Then the other thing when it comes to the lasso tool is choosing the wrong feathering pixels. So when it comes to feathering, by default, your feather is going to be at zero pixels. So when it is going to be at zero pixels, it means when you make a selection on the skin, you can see how sharp the edges are. I hope you're seeing this. You can see how sharp the edges of the selection are. And by the way, to see 
how sharp the edges of selection are you can simply press q on the keyboard and that is going to show you a brief preview of your tool edges so you can see at zero pixels the edges are sharp i know you have seen photos whereby people are editing and when it comes to the lasso tool the edges are very sharp and it leaves those annoying lines from the selection it is as a result of the feathering so i'll click q once again so make sure the feathering is between 18 and 21 pixels so i'm just going to choose 21 pixels so when you use 21 pixels and you make a selection on the skin so i'll just press q once again you can see how smooth the edges of this selection are going to be so make sure new selection mode and the feathering is between 8 to 21 pixels to have smooth edges and i think when it comes to the lasso tool basically you shouldn't select close to the edges because when you make a selection close to the edge it's going to also copy color from this other area and paste them on the skin which we don't want so that is how you can avoid that error the other thing is coming to the mr brush tool so people that use the mr brush tool is they set it wrongly so in order to use and apply the mr brush tool simply come and make sure the hardness is zero the hardness or rather the hardness is zero soft round brush is selected then clean brush is also selected right here then measure this option that says clean brush after each and stroke is selected where for this case we're going to be using a weight of 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100 percent then some people what they tend to do is they leave this option that says sample all all layers checked so when you check this option and you have the mixer brush tool it means you're going to be commanding the mixer brush tool to sample information from the layers in the frequency separation group which we don't want so when you are touching we select the low frequency layer. so when you check this option and you select the low frequency layer and you come and you start brushing it means the mixer brush tool is also going to be copying information from also the texture layer and painting them back to the low frequency layer. that is why you are always going to be having this rough texture because the brush is also copying textures and painting them into the low frequency layer which we don't want so make sure sample or all layers is not turned on when you're using the mr brush tool then also when it comes to using the mr brush tool always make sure to turn off the texture layer so by turning it off you can see the uneven skin tone transitions then sometimes when the mr brush tool is not showing or when the mr brush tool is showing a plus icon simply press the caps caps lock key and that is going to bring back the mr brush tool so the other mistake people tend to do when they are retouching is zooming all the way in remember when you zoom all the way in you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions when using the mr brush tool so you're basically going to be guessing where to mix and where not to mix so what you have to do always retouch at a distance so that you can see the uneven skin tone transitions and you work on them and it's going to also help you retouch faster and quicker because you can see and cover a big area within a short period of time then the other thing when it comes to retouching is when you're using a mr brush tool is retouching on a, a wrong layer so if at all i just turn on the texture layer so most of you when you're using the mr brush tool you tend to be having a blurry image every single time you're trying to brush on the skin that is because you have selected the wrong layer so most of you tend to, or, to select the high frequency layer instead of selecting the low frequency layer remember when you select the high frequency light is containing textures so when you come and use the mr brush tool remember the brush is already soft and re and wet rather so when we come and we start painting on the image with the high frequency layer selected it's going to soften out the textures and you can see how the image turns out to be you can see what we have just painted the image looks very soft and the textures have been lost out it is as a result of the brush we have chosen that is the mixer brush tool because it is soft and wet meaning when we paint on the textures it's going to blur out those textures and it is going to make them completely lost out of the image so make sure you select the right layer and every time you're using a mixer brush to always make sure 
in frequency separation you have selected the low frequency layer and you paint then the last mistake people tend to do when it comes to use the mr brush tool is when they turn off the high frequency layer they simply choose a big brush and just paint at once so what they tend to do is they simply left click and use a big brush and paint so the mistake is they paint over a big area at once so how to best use this you simply get a small brush and mix a given area alone just mix it alone just like that and you release the brush and you come and mix so you left click and hold down and mix a given area so you have to release the left click button and you come to a new area and also left click and hold down and you mix that area release move to a new area that has a different color left click and hold down and you mix again just like that and in that way you're going to be having a very nice image just see a before and after before and after so these are the mistakes when it comes to skin retouching and if at all you have learned a thing or two or if at all you have learned how to correct those mistakes regarding frequency suppression i request that you hit the like button on this video and drop a comment in the comment section if at all you have been enlightened about how to correct and deal away with these mistakes in skin retouching Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating